Today, the professor will be teaching you a crucial part of the production process. Editing. Be sure to follow along, but this will be very important for you. I will hand it over to the professor now to teach you a bit more about editing. Hi. An essential part of any sort of media production is the ability to edit effectively. Once you have recorded a song, filmed a few scenes, or created an animation, you will likely have to do some editing to make sure the story, song, or whatever it is you're creating is cohesive. So in many ways, being able to edit with the tool I'll show you next is the center of all content production. Even better, you can use this tool on your own personal device. Here we go. We'll start by opening up the App Store if you're on an iPhone, or Play Store if you are on an Android. Once you're here, you will download the app Splice. Splice is an incredible editing tool that can be accessed for free from your phone. This will allow you to edit any piece of content that you want on the go. Once the app is finished downloading, go ahead and open it up. Splice has made my job easy by creating a tutorial that will explain everything and more that you need to know. Follow along now to learn how to use the app. Hey there, Splicers. In this four minute tutorial, we'll learn everything we need to know about how to create your very first video. To start, Let's tap the New Project button and choose the clips and photos that we want to edit. Then tap Next. Hmm, let's give this project a name. And make sure to check Animated Photos. We can also choose an aspect ratio. Let's go for Instagram Story and tap Create. Okay, now we can start. Let's preview the video and see how it looks. All right. So there's a lot we can do to make it better, but first, let's learn how to navigate the timeline. With basic gestures, we can move back and forth at any point of our video, or pinch to see more of the timeline. Now, let's add some music by tapping the music button. From here, we can import music from iTunes, or pick a song from the Splice Music Library. Let's choose a genre, and preview a few tracks. This one's nice. Let's add it. Yeah, I think it works. Let's see. Maybe we should also reshuffle these clips. Let's have this one show up first. So to reorder a clip, we long press on it and then drag it right at the beginning of the timeline. Perfect. And maybe this clip lasts a bit too long. Let's trim it. To do so, we simply tap it and drag the right handle to make it shorter. Right here. We can do the same thing to adjust the in and out points of the other clips, as well as the duration of our photos. Great. Now the video looks much more dynamic. Actually, we could probably get rid of this photo. Let's do the double tap so we can access the shortcut menu and delete it. Tapping the media button, we can add more content to our project at any time. Now let's make our video even better. Tapping this button between each clip, we can choose from a variety of transitions. This one looks good. Also, if we tap this button below, we can easily apply the same transition to all our clips. Super convenient. All right, let's make a couple more adjustments. We can double tap here to split this clip. And then we press the speed button to slow down this a bit and create a really cool and dramatic effect. Okay, we're almost done. Let's just trim the music to match the video's length. And finally, let's add some text. we'll place it down here. Cool, I think we're ready to export. To do that, we'll tap on the share icon in the top right and save it. Now the video is stored in your phone's gallery. We can also share it directly on our favorite social media. There's so much more you can do with Splice. Just make sure to check out the other tutorials to learn more about our advanced features. Good luck with your first project and see you on Splice.
These are the basic functions you will need to know in order to edit a piece of content, but the sky is the limit in terms of where you can take these principles. Whatever you decide to make, don't be afraid to get creative, learn new things, and as always, have fun. Back to you, Valori. Well, I hope you enjoy learning a bit more about editing. It's a very useful skill for everyone to learn. So feel free to rewatch this video if you are feeling a bit unsure about anything. Practice makes perfect, so once you feel comfortable, you can start editing your own work. Good luck! Thank <laughs> you.